Hey everybody, Fifth Horseman here, playing more Kerbal Space Program, and we're starting a new series where the old one is still going, but I'm getting a little burned out on building bases, so I figured I would do something completely different. And that thing that is completely different is the Kerpalo Program. This is a whole new world. These guys have completely different goals than the other guys. However, they do have a lot of the same names. Uh, the new guy, Artos, welcome. Um, you're not even in the new, the other series yet, but you're in this one. What we're going to do in this series is we have three goals. We, we want to get a lot of science. <laughs> that's, our, that's actually the only goal. But we have rules, and these rules are um, everything is a distinct mission. The missions uh, are going to be to a single planet or moon, with the exception of Kerbin. Um, you know, Kerbin, obviously, we have to come back to. Uh, but with the only exception being Kerbin, once we return any surface science from any moon or planet, we can never return to that planet again. Um, and a mission is any number of launches, and as soon as we start a mission, we can't spend any more science to build any new ships. And that mission is over when we have either recovered or terminated everything that's not debris for that mission. <laughs> and we're going to do these one at a time. And I have already built the ships. And so we're just going to go to the launch pad here. We are going to... I should delete all these stock things. Uh, oh, I never, I never copied my things over. I will be back in a moment. Okay, I finally got my ships all loaded. Uh, there were many problems. Look at those clouds. I just love them. <laughs> um, this, uh, this craft is very simple. <laughs> this is, uh, if you look here, it is named... Uh, I guess I can't... I can go into rename. This is named Kerpalo A. And that is because there is a Kerpalo B. This is just to collect some science around the launch pad. So, I am in the command seat. I am going to take a quick crew report. We are going to keep that data because there is nothing on this pod except for the pod. I am going to get out. I am going to take a surface sample. I am going to take an EVA report. I'm going to latch back onto the capsule here. <laughs> I am going to store my stuff in the command pod. I'm going to take an EVA report from flying above. Now I'm going to get back in. Okay, now we are... We have we have gotten all the stuff from the launch pad, so let's uh, there we go. Let's roll ourselves off the launch pad. <laughs> that should be good enough. Crew report from oh, oops, crew report. There we go. From KSC. Keep that data. Got to roll around here. Get me out. EVA report. I think this will be flying over Kerbin's shores again, so we don't need that one. We don't need the one out there anymore, but we do need an EVA report from the surface here, or surface sample, I should say, and an EVA report from here. So keep the data, keep the data. Get back in your ship, and now we are heading over to the launch pad. Okay, here we are. I'm going to take a surface sample from the runway. Keep it. An EVA report from the runway. Keep it. Hop back in my ship here. <laughs> and now we're going to go a little bit farther off the runway because there are shores out there that we can get to. Okay, well, I ran out of power. Uh, my ship turned and I couldn't turn it anymore, so I didn't make it to the shores. I know there's shores over here, um, like roughly where that piece of whatever that is. So I'm going to leave myself here, and we are going to go back to the... S oh, I can't go back to the Space Center. Why not? Oh, because I'm throttled up. <laughs> now we're going to go back to the Space Center. We're going to launch another one of these to get to the shores, because, like I said, any number of missions is... Or any number of ships is fine, as long as we don't break the mission protocols. And the next guy to launch is Nathan. So you're going in the Kerpalo A2, I guess you'll be... <laughs> And instead of going the direction I went, you're going to go the opposite way. And your entire goal is to make it to shores. Yeah, see, it's telling me... <laughs> Don't click the EVA report button on this mod when... Uh... Let's go ahead and take the surface sample, why not? 
and an EVA report, even though they're they're actually redundant. Get yourself back to your ship here. That was that was freaking awesome. I hope you can get back in. There we go. Okay, back to rolling. Yeah, don't click the AVA report button while you're rolling across the surface. This is a, uh, an I'm sorry, this is the ambient light adjustment. This is, um, shows you the, the experiments that are available. Um, it's very convenient to have. Uh, it's going to be even more convenient as we go and we're flying out over biomes and stuff. Okay, we've made it. You just ran out of gas, and we're at Kerbin Shore. So sweet. Keep the data here, and then get yourself out. We already have this EVA report, but better safe than sorry. Let's go ahead and store the experiments. Yeah, we can't. So let's uh, let go. No, cancel. Let's let go. Now we're going to get our surface sample and our EVA report from the ground of the shores, which we haven't done yet. And keep that data, and uh, now what we can do here is <laughs> go ahead and push your pot around so you can get back in it. We're actually going to recover this guy, and he got 36 science for that. That's pretty awesome. And then we're going to recover me as well, and I got 27 science. Now, we can't spend that science yet because we haven't actually done the mission part of the mission yet. <laughs> now we're going to launch the actual mission, which is Kerpalo B. And I am not going to be flying this. Nathan is not going to be flying this. Ankro, you're next up. This would have been Nathan, but I screwed up my part of the mission. So, Nathan, you have me to blame for not going into space today. We're going to launch on the launch pad. Okay, and that ship is this one. You guys, for, from your perspective, a few seconds have gone by. For me, it's been over a day. Um, I had major problems with this ship, uh, mostly due to the fact that I refused to use it, uh, a parachute, and I'll get to those reasons why in a moment. Let's go ahead and get this guy launched, because it's going to take a while for him to get up. And we are going into a polar orbit in three, two, one, launch. Ah, these nice one-stage rockets. <laughs> Single-stage orbit. That's what we're doing here today. Um, okay, Ankro, here's the problem. Um, if you have a parachute on this guy, he lands so slowly that, uh, like, maybe the engine and the bottom and the bottom rocket here blow up, and then this thing falls over, and he uh, this explodes <laughs> on the ground because it taps. This little edge right here hits the ground, and Anchor dies and takes all of his science with him. Speaking of science, uh, let's go ahead and do a crew report. That's not worth anything. Oh yeah, this thing would this thing would hurt me anyway, wouldn't it? Uh, let's go. There we go. Yeah, cause we wanna we wanna turn the warp, the the warp off when uh, when he is coming. Oh, look at these clouds. Going through the clouds. I'm sorry. Um, but anyway, so so. I actually recorded an entire mission of me doing this with antennae around here, because antennae are light, and I figured it would fall over. Uh, oh, also, if you don't put anything on here, then it blows through the uh, the stack here, at least in 0 0.23, it would blow through the stack, and then uh, right around here or so, it would stop, and then it would fall over, and he'd be fine. So I tried that in 0 0.23.5. And uh, the new physics wonky physics joints, the, the very, very welcome physics joints that uh, keep this thing from wobbling all over the place, uh, also cause it to bounce back up in the air, flip over and land directly on uh, Ankara's head and blowing up the thing over and over and over again. Um, so I did. So basically the two ways that I know of to, to do this failed miserably. And um, I'm just doing my gravity turn here now that our, our apoapsis is above 10. Once it gets to 20, I want to be right around the 45 or so. So uh, so I added antennae around here, four of them, around in a circle, and I picked them because they were really light. And I also uh, did the entire mission that way. <laughs> and I also burned up all my fuel, so I had no fuel to slow myself down coming down. And it turns out that that's a bad thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, because I was just coming down too fast 
and this thing would bounce and flip over and the antennae would just just disintegrate and not do anything and then he would blow up and I I finally got him um, I finally saved him by slowing down enough uh, because I cheated in fuel um, but that wasn't I don't accept that I was just doing that to test and now I'm launching again so that was all in um, in off-camera whatever you call it I don't know um, oh we got a science let's go ahead and do a crew report only that data. We will get the EVA report in a moment. <laughs> not while we're under acceleration. Even though he's got a little platform to stand on here, I'm not going to do it. As soon as as soon as we uh, as soon as we burn out, he's going to hop out and grab that EVA. Report. Oh, we're in orbit mode and we're going directly north, which is good. Uh, once we get up to about 75 or so, as our of our apoapsis here, 73, 74, 75, and there we go. Okay, now hop out and get that EVA report. Yes, you should really get back in the ship. Okay, back in the ship. Yay! Okay, now, we are coasting to Apoapsis. We have a mere 870 meters per second left of Delta V. This ship has an excruciatingly tight budget because these are a lot heavier than the uh, antennae were, and they're they're lighter than a, than a uh, parachute, though. So this is still more fuel efficient than a parachute. <laughs> but only just. Um, but yes, we're taking off. There's that mountain that you see every time you launch. It's above the clouds. Got some weird shadow thing going on there. But we are, uh, we're a minute and a half from Apoapsis. Uh, we are also 10 kilometers from the atmosphere, uh, border. So, um, I'm just going to get this guy into orbit. I guess we could speed up time here. No sense. It's, it's quick enough that I'm not going to bother putting you guys on hold because you're going to miss most of this mission. Because there's really no reason for you to... Oh, we're in space now. Let's go ahead and do an EVA report from space. Space above Kervin's Highlands. Let's go ahead and keep that data and get back in. Okay, we are a mere 45 seconds from Apoapsis. I'm going to wait until we're about 5 seconds from Apoapsis, and I'm going to hit the gas here. Uh, we are going to have a very low orbit. It's going to be like 75 by 70. <laughs> if, I, if I can get it 75 by 70, I will be happy. Um, the goal here is just to, to not be out of orbit. Um, so when we are about 10 seconds from now, I'm going to hit the gas. And I'm going to be very sticklery about my, about my thing because I'm just, I'm so low on fuel. There we go, we're burning. 100, 100. Our time to apoapsis is going up, so I'm going to cut the gas because we're down to 400 meters per second here. Okay, we're at 48. Uh, we have passed our apoapsis. And 75 by 73 with an entire 282 meters per second left in the tank. But we are in orbit. That's the important thing. So... Now for the boring part. This thing is occasionally going to tell me that there are experiments to do. I'll show you. If I speed up time, it'll it'll even stop warp for it. Um, and I don't want to go above 50 because when you get above 50... Oh, and then they, it went away. It must have been Shores. I'll, I'll get Shores eventually. But, uh, yeah, when it, when it tells me that there are experiments to do, it's going to stop the warp. I click on this. It tells me there's an EBA report. I do it. Click on it again to bring it up again, and now I'm over Curvin Shores. Keep the data. Get back in. And I'm going to repeat that over and over and over. Oh, now we're over water or something. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> you got to be quick on these things. Um, and, but yeah, it's going to basically keep telling me. And this is a surrogate for me getting out every once in a while and checking manually. Over Curvin Shores again. That's odd. Keep the data. Here report. Uh, grasslands, there we go. Keep the data, get back on board. Now, we can't transmit anything, but as long as he's in the ship here, it knows that he has these these reports, so he will, uh, he will get them. <laughs> uh, another thing, just full disclosure, uh, I got 63 science on the ground when, when you were watching. Um, because of the problem I had, I actually had to redo everything from scratch, and I somehow got 69 science. So I got six extra science somewhere on the ground. So I actually have th six more science than I think I do. Or than you think I do, I should say, because I think I have the right amount. 
There's moon. Look at how how crisp that that border is on moon now in the in the new texture pack. I am a big fan. But anyway, um, this is going to be boring, so I am going to cut the video here, and I will come back when I am ready to deorbit this guy. If you ever do this, don't put this in front of the door. Um, I tested on the launch pad, and he was perfectly fine, but every time he gets out in space, he gets thrown away from the craft. <laughs> um, and he can get back in, but it's just kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, okay. We've got everything except for, I think, Badlands now. Um, I'm going to verify that once we get the Badlands, but if you look here, we have 11 stored data. We've got Above Kerbin's Deserts. Uh, upper Atmosphere doesn't count. Above Kerbin's Highlands. Shores. Grasslands. Uh, tundra. Ice caps. Mountains. And water. Yeah, so we have everything but Badlands, I, I'm pretty sure. So I'm just going to keep uh, fast forwarding here until we get those. I got it! Badlands. Sadly, it's nighttime. <laughs> uh, we can, I guess I can turn up the ambient light a little bit. So you can see we are over the Badlands right now. He is grabbing on. We are keeping this data and we are getting back in. Okay, now it's all a matter of getting home with 200 meters per second. Um, this is going to be rough because he has to land on land, and I would like him to have a little bit in the tank when it happens. Um, so it's going to require a deft hand, we'll say. <laughs> um, we can plan to come in over this huge continent here, which I think is going to be the deal. Um, we're going to we're gonna try, I think it's going to be probably this orbit. We're coming south here, and then we're going to come up. As soon as I get over this ocean here, I'm going to burn. I'm going to hit F5 right now, though, because this is going to be difficult, we'll say. Um, if I put up a maneuver node here, and we'll say, let's do... Let's do a third of our of our stuff here. Let's go negative prograde, 100 meters per second. That's going to pretty much guarantee we're going to be over this, this huge continent here. Um, hopefully we'll end up in this desert. Um, I'm actually thinking about bringing it back a little bit, doing it like over here. Um... And then Kerbin's going to rotate a little bit. Let's uh, let's actually see how that looks. Oh yeah, this will be perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Let's do it. I'm proud to be a part of this plan. Uh, close alarm and unpause. Okay, let's get ourselves aimed in that direction. There's a ring there. I need a new star map. This one, um, I like it. I like the the how much the galaxy shows up. I like all of that stuff. Um, what I don't like is you can see the edges. And of course, you can't see them now. That I'm telling you you can see the edges, but trust me, you can see the edges. Uh, oh, come on, get back up. It's going to be a one-second burn, so it's not like we we're, we're in any time crunch here. But I'm going to also drop a quick save here. I think this is fair. And we're going to do this 100 meter per second burn right at the time it tells me to, and then if this is bad, I know to change it, is the idea. Here we go, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. <coughs> We're just gonna wait until the, exactly the moment here. And cut the engines, that's good enough for me, okay. I always, always forget that. Okay, now we're definitely coming in over this land somewhere. So here we go. Speed up time. Get through the boring part of this. Let's get ourselves aimed somewhat downward. I've noticed this thing doesn't respond to aerodynamics very much. So let's just get ourselves kind of aimed in the direction we're going, and then we'll we'll do the physics warp here. Don't have to worry about the battery. Although, I might as well. Might as well worry about the battery a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, four times warp. We're coming in over the desert, I believe. Yeah, that's the desert coming up. We're going to be actually going a bit over that temple that we found in our other series. I think it's over there, the temple is. In theory... We might even be able to see it. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's right down there somewhere. 
Or maybe it's this mountain right here. Yeah, I think it's right down there. Although there's water. No, that's water. Yeah, I think... I don't know where it is. Hopefully we're not going to crash, speaking of mountains, into these mountains. Okay, the flames have started, so I'm going to cut down to a mere double time speed here. And I reserve the right to restore from backup, uh, as I said, from that backup I made, if uh, this blows up the pod and kills Ankro. <clears throat> Here we go. We're coming in. Oh, we got more? We can take a crew report. Flying over Kerbin's Mountains. Let's keep that data. We cannot take an EVA report here. That would kill poor Ankro. <laughs> and he's like, I am not getting out of this pod. I don't care what you say. Uh, let's not even show that anymore. Yeah, there's no there's no need to show any more reports or anything. We are coming down. Luckily, we're coming down through the clouds, so we can't see a darn thing. Uh, it looks like the altitude is about four kilometers short higher up than this says. So we're about three kilometers from the ground, which is awesome. And by awesome, I mean it is not awesome at all. We're going to be doing this on instruments in the clouds. I think we're going to come out of the clouds and we're going to be like, hi, how you doing? We got 3.3 seconds and our impact time is in 12 seconds. So when we get to about two seconds, I think I'm just going to hit the gas on this thing. Oh boy, here we go. Here we come. Seven, six, <laughs> five, four, three. Oh my god. And Anchor lives. <laughs> That's exactly the that was the mission plan. So Ankro, take your EVA report. <laughs> EVA report from Kerman's Mountains. Let's keep that data. Um take the data out of here. And then get back in because we're gonna want this crew report here. Keep this data. Uh, now go ahead and hop out. Now we don't want this data. This this data doesn't help us because it's already it's already in the ship. But we can though take a surface sample from here. Keep it. An EVA report. EVA report. Keep it. Take a surface sample. Oh yeah, I thought that's weird. Okay, and then we can plant a flag. Ankro, the first Kerbin to successfully orbit. And I'm going to call this 01 Kerpalo. I didn't die. Ankro. Okay, see if you can get back in your craft, because that would make things easier. <laughs> I guess you can't. Oh, wait. I thought the door was on the side there, but it's not. Okay, so we should be able to... <laughs> nice job, a little parkour there. Okay, we are going to recover this vessel now. Now... For 118.1 science, which gives us 187. Now, I wanted 175, so we're actually above that, which is pretty awesome. We're going to go, let's go ahead and visit the research and development building. Uh, I already know what I'm going to, what I'm going to uh, research here. Obviously, I'm going to research this because there's no choice. I'm also going to research this, not because I want anything, although the side parachutes will make things a little bit easier. Uh, the reason why I want this is I want this. I want more science, and these batteries are going to come in handy. And we also want, um, oh, solar panels would be really nice. But more importantly is this thermometer, because it gives us more science. And now we have 32 science left. I need radial decouplers. It's not a question of, of what I want. It's a question of what I need. Um, because we are going to Gilly. That is correct. Mission number two for our fledgling space program after successfully orbiting the planet and landing without a parachute <laughs> is to go to another planet and land on one of its moons. Um, the reason is, as I said in the beginning, uh, at least I hope I did, I hope I didn't cut that out. <laughs> um, this mission, this, this playthrough has some rules. I will not ever land on the same planet twice with the exception of Kerbin. 
And I will also, um, once I start a mission, I cannot do any research until I have deemed that mission complete. And that mission cannot be complete until every single person is either dead or back on curb and recovered. And same thing with all the crafts. There, there can only be uh, debris out in space uh, for, me to, for me to count a mission as complete. So everything has to be either terminated. I will allow myself to terminate stuff. But uh, terminated or recovered. And everybody has to be home. So that's the rule <laughs> um, of this of this playthrough here. So what? So I don't want to go to Moon or Minmus because I don't I haven't unlocked all the science yet. Also, one one important thing: I've modified my configs so the non-crew report, non-goo uh, data, and stuff like that is worth a lot less science. Well, not a lot less, about half. It's worth about half of what it's what it's worth in the actual game. Um, because I want things to be harder. I want, I want science to take longer to get so that I do have to kind of min-max myself here. So, come back next time. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Uh, next mission, this was Kerpalo. Next mission is going to be Gilpalo, probably. <laughs> um, and, uh, we're going to be going to Gilly. I can't wait to see how I do that with this science. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I definitely enjoyed playing it. I am Fifth Horseman, and I will, as always... Talk at you later.